Hi everyone, this is Celia. Welcome back to my channel. Simply Celia, I am on my floor. <laughs> um, today is Sunday, August 14, and I thought um, it is time to update you about my cross stitching projects. So here they are. First off, let me show you my um, Last Supper project. And it's. I've been stitching on this one, not every day, but whenever I have a chance. I just want to show you that I've completed the page, a page here. And as soon as I've completed one page, I decided to stitch the, the page next to it to make, to make sure that I have enough space on the right, right side of the project. And I really had a feeling that I didn't, I don't have enough space and I was right. So just after I've completed this whole page, I just wanted to stitch um, the next page just to make sure. And yeah, this is the only space I have left. I miscalculated when I started this project. I have so much space here on the left side and really half an inch space here on the right side. I don't know what I did. I actually know how to. This is the first time that I run out of, really not run out, but I miscalculated both um, um, the project so but at least this is something that can be fixed I'm sorry about the wiring I'm trying to put some light on top of this space that I'm doing my video so I don't know how to fix the, the wires but yeah um, see this can be fixed when it's time to frame this I will stitch another Ada fabric on the side so there's um, pieces of fabric that the framer can handle but right now I'm not really doing any more progress aside from the fit completed this page I'm just working a little bit a little bit not every day on this one but I'm not going home to the Philippines this year so but I'm planning to do it next year so I have a year to complete this and this will be a perfect gift for my mother I am planning to go home on her 80th, 80th birthday. She just celebrated her 79th birthday yesterday and I thought this is a perfect gift for her because she's been wanting to like have a last supper at home. For some reason Filipinos love last supper. But yeah, that's my last supper update guys. So next, I pulled this project again because I really like it and I wanted to at least um, put some stitches in this and hopefully get this done this year, but I don't think I can do it. Who knows? But yeah, I've been working on this a few days ago and actually today also when I took a break from painting my door frame. So I stitched on this one. I decided to put it on the frame because of the kind of fabric it's so soft so yeah it's made a mistake somewhere here but I fudged it right now I'm I've completed one page and then I'm working on the next page so this is I'm I'll be working on this area next so this one is all done except of course for the lower part because this is the one page kind of thing and yeah this is super nice to, and i love the fabric and it's just really relaxing to stitch but this is twin peak primitives.com cherry garden next project that i uh, worked on is this Satsuma Street My True Love I picked this design you actually have the option to do this too but I wanted to have that My True Love give to me so I picked that design uh, what I mean is arrangement and 
I've just completed the first one. This is actually a linen, but not for cross stitching because it's an even. Um, it's like more, more longer down than you know. It's not even. How you say it? But yes, maybe all linens are like that. I'm not really sure, but they're not even. So I picked this. I got this. Like I think this one is for. Apparel. I'm not really sure because I just found this and it's so tiny But I like stitching in this one. So I'll be working today. I thought of putting some stitches uh, 15 minutes stitching on this project. So we'll be doing day number the second We'll be doing that two birds there So Next yeah. thing I worked on is this uh, stamp cross stitch it's no title it's from China and it's like that so it is a stamp one and it's huge I'm not it's kind of I don't know 50 by 78 maybe that's centimeters but it's it's a little bit huge and I know that I've purchased several of these kinds of things, the stamp cross stitch, but I never really worked on them. And if I did work on them, I just um, gave it away. So this time, for some reason, I like working on this fabric. It's really a little, it's softer. It's easier. It's easier for my hand. It's, most of the times, the fabric they have is a little bit stiff and it's actually giving my hand some kind of... A problem but for this one it's easier so I started stitching on this side and then decided I wanted some kind of I want to see the house so I started stitching on the house and and so far um, I um, organized them like this so so far oops um, the thread that um, they have is easier also to use. I like it. It's a little bit softer and smooth. So yeah, it's a very pretty color. So I'm not sure how it's going to look when it's done. Uh, who knows? This is kind of a heaven and earth full coverage. China version <laughs> but it's stamped and I bought this because I wanted to work on this during like trips and other activities that I don't have to keep on looking on the chart so that's why I wanted to have one of this go on hand next is I worked on this uh, old whip of mine it should i don't have it's from a magazine so look at my copy it's really old and broken to pieces i don't have the before picture but it should say merry christmas with all the snowman so i decided to give this some love i completed a little bit of the t and worked on this m so hopefully i'll continue working on this until it gets done and be this way during Christmas but yeah I thought I'm going to give some love on some of my older whips another Christmas theme that I put some stitches on is this one it's another it's a smaller stamped cross stitch and it says Christmas cottage number two I have number one three and four I think I have four four of them so what I did is I stitch all this here and tried to complete stuff here. So the thing about stamp cross stitch, if you're not very careful, you have several spots. You'll miss some several spots because they look like there's, there's stitches in them because of the colors. But 
it actually not so if this one is my a learning process for me like if i'm i'll make sure that i if i'm going to start on stitching in this area i have to complete the stitches but it's hard it's hard the way my stitching goes i have to adjust when it's stamp cross stitch so this one it looks small it's small but for some reason it takes me a long time to finish this but yeah this is still um considered as one of the projects that i have to work on it's in my work in process um tote so hopefully i'll get this done because there's three more yeah this is the kit it's a kit so Another Christmas theme uh, that I um, put some stitches um, recently is this gold collection petites and the nativity. So I'm hoping to finish at least one of the nativity that I've started. So hopefully this one will do. But you know, as usual, they look small, but they're not easy to f to stitch. They're so dense. It takes me a long time to stitch it's just crazy so yeah I've worked a little bit put some stitches somewhere here and so far that's all I've done so I started this long time ago but yeah I'm hoping to at least continue working on this until it's done but decided to be to include this in my work in progress tote or bag yeah. they're actually so pretty I like the colors next project that I've started recently is this so there's no title because it's from Aliexpress it's a kit that I got from Aliexpress and it's so pretty it's just so the colors are really nice so I started it can't help myself and it is stitch an 18 count fabric that came with the kit but I for some reason I just don't like stitching an 18 count I don't know my stitches are not really that good but yeah this is my start and doesn't look like I wasn't really enjoying it so I'm not sure if I'm going to replace my fabric to 14 count um, this design sometimes requires blending so not sure yet but I know I remember that I stopped stitching because I'm not really enjoying it but hopefully I'll put some stitches in this probably I'll just skip this you know there's like a few maybe an hour and a half of work but yeah just the colors is just so pretty next um project that i've started uh, and uh, or recently also i have several starts is from the chess cross stitch magazine issue august 2022 and this is the heavens a little closer designed by gail busey busey and i it's fun it's fun to stitch in this but I haven't had, I wanted to like gather all the floss and have create like a little floss tags so that I can stitch on this. I have all the floss that I needed when I wanted to stitch on this. I haven't done it yet. So this is what I've, you know, done so far. Heaven's little closer. So hopefully I get to stitched. Continue stitching in this soon. But so uh, yeah. It's nice actually. I really like it. And another new start for me. Merry Christmas. Santa. And this is so far. My progress. I don't know. It looks like that I guess. The skirt of Santa so I'll just use the regular DMC thread for this 
and then uh, it requires like variegated for the specialty threads but i don't have that so i have a dmc conversion but yeah that's another one a new start next is this design it's another christmas one but i also have a spring one a kit so i decided to start this christmas and this is my progress look at that color oh i really love stitching in this the color is so bright vibrant and uh, it's really see compared to their pictures it's so nice like oh my god and they're so cute and i love stitching in this i this is actually not a kit i purchase a pattern only so i have to provide my own well, yeah, I'm wrong. It's a kit, but I changed the fabric. I used my own fabric because the fabric was that comes with it is not good. So, but I used the threads that they provided. But look at that color. So nice. So, yeah. Next is, is another new start. And this is the design. And I'm sorry they didn't have a title, whatever, because I actually buy, I have original kits that I buy, bought from here, US, but sometimes if I go to AliExpress and I see what I like, I buy it, you know, not sure, I just buy it, so, um, this is my progress. So it shows that there's a discrepancy when it comes to color. <laughs> but it still looks nice. But I'd rather want that kind of red than orangey. But it still looks nice. So I used the fabric that came with it. It is 18 count, I guess. And uh, yeah, it's I've worked on this last night. And um, I had mistakes. So always have mistakes every time I cross-stitch. Because I cross-stitch when I'm tired. <laughs> But, yeah, it's nice actually. So, here's the color. And it's a little bit off, but it's okay. It is okay. I don't care. But yeah, they're small and I, I'm actually like work, like working on smalls right now. But I know I should. I have several large projects that I really need to work on as well. But um, for now, I just wanted to stitch on small projects so I can have some kind of a finish in the near future, hopefully. But with so many starts, I don't think I can do that. But yeah, that's it. I worked last night. I worked on his face. It's so, and I think that's all I have for this video. I'm going to make another video um, showing you my paint by number projects. I have completed two paint by number projects so far, and I've started one, two, three, I think three. <laughs> so, um, if you're interested to see to see what they are, what I have completed, what I've finished, all my paint by numbers projects, um, wait for my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy stitching everyone. Bye.